Allow us to take you on a quick journey through one of America's most unique national parks. Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona is a 220,000 acre park famous for its beautifully preserved petrified wood and stunning otherworldly landscapes. Our first stop was the Rainbow Forest Museum and Visitor Center, located near the south entrance of the park. It's a great place to start as it offers an in-depth introduction to the park's history and geology. Inside, you'll find exhibits featuring petrified wood, fossils of prehistoric animals, and even a skeleton of a phytosaur, a crocodile-like creature from 200 million years ago. Just outside of the museum, you can take a short stroll on the Giant Logs Trail, where you'll encounter some of the largest petrified wood in the park. The 0.3 mile figure eight hike is a self-guided trail marked with numbered posts that correspond to a trail guide booklet you can pick up at the start of the walk. One of the trail's highlights is Old Faithful, a massive petrified tree that measures nearly 10 feet in diameter. If you don't have too much time to explore the park, this is a stop you do not want to miss. Drive past interesting landscapes as you make your way to the Crystal Forest, another popular location in the park offering a short and easy 0.7 mile hike. We actually didn't go too far on this path as it was well over 100 degrees on the July day we passed through during a cross-country road trip. If it's not too hot during your visit, be sure to wander through the landscape scattered with petrified logs that sparkle with quartz crystals, hence the name, the Crystal Forest. And since our visit to the park was at the tail end of a very long driving day, we unfortunately didn't see it all, but we definitely hit many of the highlights. And honestly, simply driving through the park and checking out the diverse landscapes was a highlight in and of itself. So even if you don't have a lot of time to explore, taking a drive on the 28 mile road that cuts through the park will still provide some pretty incredible views. Over 13,000 years of human history can be found throughout the park, including over 800 archeological and historic sites. If time allows and the temps are right, there's no shortage of trails for you to choose from to explore the wonders of this park in greater detail. If you wanted to pick just a few highlights, we'd highly recommend you put Blue Mesa on your list. This area is known for its breathtaking Badlands landscape, which is layered in blue, purple, and gray colors. It's easily one of the most photogenic spots in the park. The Blue Mesa Trail is a one mile loop that descends into the heart of these striped hills. If you're short on time like we were, you can skip the hike and enjoy the views from the lookout points above. Though if time allows, you'll definitely want to take a journey down into this otherworldly terrain. Next up is Newspaper Rock, a historic site featuring over 650 petroglyphs carved by indigenous people around 2,000 years ago. These ancient rock carvings offer a glimpse into the lives of the people who once inhabited this region, depicting animals, people, and mysterious symbols. Newspaper Rock is one of the richest rock art sites in the Southwest, and interpreting these symbols is part of the intrigue. While their exact meanings remain unknown, they offer a fascinating insight into the culture and spirituality of the region's ancient inhabitants. Petrified Forest is the only national park that contains a section of the iconic Route 66. Along the original Route 66 alignment, you'll find a 1932 Studebaker marking the original route that now parallels Interstate 40. It's a wonderful place to pause and reflect on how this historic highway brought people westward in search of new opportunities. After crossing over I-40, you'll come to the Painted Desert section of the park, known for its colorful and expansive views. There are numerous spots to pull over and admire the reds, pinks, and purples that stretch across the horizon. 
don't miss a stop by the Painted Desert Inn, a historic landmark with a rich history. Sunrise and sunset are arguably the best times to visit this section of the park, as the changing light brings out the most vibrant colors in the landscape. If you've got young ones in your group, pick up a Junior Ranger book to keep the kids engaged during your visit, and they'll earn a badge for their efforts. Petrified Forest National Park is located near the eclectic little town of Holbrook, Arizona. We ended our long driving day with a stay at the historic Wigwam Motel located on Route 66. The accommodations are basic, but the memories of staying in a wigwam will last a lifetime. Subscribe to our channel and check out more fun travel videos.